Homemade two ingredient bagels. What? This is the best thing I've ever made. I'm gonna try making two ingredient bagels using Greek yogurt and flour. It's a little bit misleading to say that this is a two ingredient recipe because you are gonna wanna finish them off with a quick egg wash and then toppings are essential to bagels. Typically bagels require yeast, a whole lot of time to rest and rise, and then you have to boil them before baking. But this is a little different. I'm very interested to see if I get the same kind of chewy texture and bite that you want from a bagel with just two ingredients in 45 minutes. The key to this recipe is using self-rising flour. It's the only way the bagels are gonna get any rise when they're baked. So I have two cups of flour here. I'm adding two cups of Greek yogurt. I wanna make sure it's really strained so there's not too much moisture in the dough. I'm just gonna take a spatula and mix this up until a shaggy dough forms. Oh yeah, it's a really wet dough. It looks pretty shaggy to me. So I have my oven preheated to 375 degrees and a piece of parchment paper lightly greased with cooking spray. Now I'm gonna lightly flour a clean surface and turn the dough out to knead it for about five minutes. You just wanna make sure that the dough does not stick to the surface. So use as much flour as you need on your hands and on your board. If you have a stand mixer, you can just use a dough attachment starting on low and then speeding it up to medium high. I've added quite a bit more flour, but it's looking pretty perfect to me, if I do say so myself. Now I'm gonna cut it into eight even pieces. Each one of these will be a bagel. So if you've ever seen bagels made traditionally, they're usually rolled into a log or a rope and then secured at the ends. But because this dough is a little bit more difficult to work with, I think I might just make a ball and then form a hole with my fingers. They're not the prettiest things you've ever seen, but that's okay. Move them to my parchment paper. Pretty much same size. So I've got a little egg wash going. I'm gonna paint just a light layer on each of the bagels. So the egg wash is gonna help with browning in the oven, and it'll also help your toppings stick on better. I've got sesame seeds, poppy seeds, everything but the bagel. I'm just gonna do plain salt in the last one. Kosher salt. Those look pretty nice. Okay. Oven time. 375 degree oven, I'm gonna put these in for 20 to 22 minutes and check on them regularly. Oh my gosh! They look so fluffy. Look at the bottoms. I'm so excited! So now I'm gonna crank the oven up to about 450 and see if I can get them a little bit browner on top. Back to the oven for three to four minutes. Oh my goodness. I just made bagels. Let's give it a try. Let's go poppy seed. Mm, that is so cool. Can't make this up. Just look at those air holes. I'm so impressed. So homemade bagels, review. They definitely don't have the same bite, but they are pretty dang close and so easy that they're just fun to make. Would definitely do this again, would recommend will have for breakfast. Look at that steam. Just because I have to. Cream cheese. That's breakfast. I couldn't be happier with this. Unreal. Unreal.